hi guys welcome back to ccm clock so today i'm going to demonstrate how to use uh, most frequently used globally available functions in solidity called message.value and message.send besides that i will teach you how to use transfer uh, function for in solidity right so let's we start with the global variables actually here i have created two con contract they are global variable and wallet so the concept behind this is uh, you can use this wallet contract as actual wallet it's mean you can send ether to this wallet and save them and you can retrieve back those ether to your current uh, contract right it's mean to your global variable contract so so i will start with the global variable contract here you can see there is a, a adversary defi defined on top of this uh, the contract you can see this is size is one so if i go to the bottom you can see here i have a create wallet function actually this create wallet function has a validation it means it simply check whether your array is a fresh one it means your array zeroth index hasn't defined any value it means it check whether your uh, array is a fresh one if it's so then the following logic will be executed you can see here i have created a new wallet and this wallet address is equal to this address wallet variable then your address wallet uh, arrays arrays zeroth index will be initiated with this variable right so if i go to the top back you can see i have a constructor created here so here you can see uh, i have put the payable modifier for the constructor it's mean uh, once your uh, contract getting initialized actually with the initiation of your contract you can set ether to your contract you can see if i go to the run you can see here i can specify some amount and i can click deploy then if, once i click the deploy your contract will be getting initiated with that initiate you can send 500 way to your contract if you specified payable uh, payable keyword for your constructor right okay let's see go to the next function here you can see get wallet balance actually it is related to the wallet let's we talk about later the other function is also callback for uh, callback fallback sorry call fallback wallet actually it is related to the wallet let's see talk about later so get my balance actually this get my balance is used to get your balance you can simply call the balance function to get the get your current contract or another contract balance by specifying address first and then balance right okay next i have a payable uh, fallback function actually you can use a fallback function simply fallback function mean actually fallback function uh, hasn't a name hasn't a, hasn't hasn't a function name let's imagine um, another contract use your address and call non specified method uh, then what happen actually in other languages it will uh, it will give you a error runtime error but in solidity if you have defined a fallback function fallback function mean this function hasn't hasn't a name right then definitely if you call a function but that function uh, haven't been defined in your wallet in your uh, current uh, contract then it will automatically redirect to this fallback function actually the uh, fallback function is used to uh, retrieve ether retrieve way uh, for the contract actually this fallback function is acting like the gateway for the accept ether or way sending from the outside right so keep in your mind you should have a fallback function to retrieve ether coming from the outside next i have defined create wallet i described that 
and finally retrieve it actually this is related to uh, wallet contract okay let's see go to the wallet on top the top top of the wallet you can see I have defined the construct of the wallet then I have a modifier defined here actually I described how to how to create custom modifiers on uh, in my previous tutorial so actually the validation inside this modifier is it simply check the sending amount is greater than 50 way right okay uh, let's we go to the next function this is the fallback function of your wallet contract here you can see I have used external keyword actually if you use external keyword then that function cannot be called by itself that function should be called from the outside right so it means wallet can wallet can't uh, send money to the wallet that's simply it right okay let's we look at the other function you can see get current balance it means simply if you call this function it will send the current balance of the wallet finally i have get ether it means let's imagine you have uh, you call this function with the amount then the calling contract will be calling contract will be getting it's mean the calling contract will get the specified ether specified uh, sorry way amount uh, from the wallet right so here the calling a uh, contract sh uh, should be the wallet variable so, so it should be the global variable because global variable uh, create the wallet right okay you can uh, you can see how to use transfer method actually um, on the global variable contract also I uh, also I use the transfer method also here you can see how to use transfer method this mean here I have a simple validation so the asking amount should be less than 100 way uh, if that validation is true then uh, it will execute the it will execute this uh, command right it will send the amount to calling contract okay let's we run this uh, solution so here I uh, go with the global variable contract here I specified 500 way and I deploy so global variable contract is deployed it's initiated let's check its functions right here you can see uh, get my balance let's see start with this function let's click that one okay you can see I have 500 way right now so it's mean global variable contract has 500 way let's send another 50 way right to send way again you have to call the fallback function right fallback function of this global variable contract let's click the fallback of the global variable i send another 50 way for the global variable contract right then i click deploy no now i'm going to use the fallback right i click the fallback so let's check our balance get my balance here you can see now my balance is 600 because i sent 50 way twice to the contract to the global variable contract using fallback function of itself right okay let's we initiate a wallet okay here i initiate a wallet you can see my wallet is initiated successfully let's we check the wallet balance right now wallet balance should be zero right you can see its balance is zero so let's you send some amount some way to our uh, wallet contract right so here i specified 60 okay let's you check our validation here the validation is the incoming value should be greater than 50 okay let's we specify something less than 50 let's we specify uh, 30 okay let's we call callback function there we go it will throw an error and it will roll back your transaction okay let's we send 60 sorry 60 
okay let's we check it, 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 it successed so let's we call the uh, get wallet balance function there we go you can see now wallet has six uh, weight six, sorry 60 weight so okay let's we check our uh, our uh, global variable contract balance actually previous it was 600 weight right now I think it should reduce 60 from the 600 let's see check uh, okay get my balance okay let's see check the the, the global variable uh, contract only have 540 way right so now our solution working successfully you can see let's see check how to retrieve way back to our global variable from the wallet right so here I specified uh, something like um, 12 and I get I retrieve ether okay it is successful so let's uh, check the uh, current wallet current wallet balance get wallet balance here you can see now it is 48 right it reduced the amount correctly okay let's we check our uh, actually a global variable contract balance get my balance right there we go now it has increased into uh, 552 so you can see our solution is working perfectly